marker. Take three. Um, this is the third time I'm trying to do this video, not because my camera is glitching out actually like it has in the past, but actually because I am still trying to figure out how I want to word all of what I want to say. So I'm going to start with, hello, my name is Zan. Um, I had a friend request that I do this video. Um, I get asked this particular question a lot. Um, and that question is, why do you wear hijab? Because I am a non-Muslim, often hijabi. I would say sometimes hijabi, but that sort of has a connotation that I don't wear it all that often, which is not true because I actually do wear hijab very often. Um, I haven't done any videos yet of me wearing my hijab because I hadn't introduced it yet and there's family um, that doesn't know that I wear hijab. Um, so, and I didn't mention it in my This Is Me video that I had done recently. So, um, yeah, I am going to talk today about why I wear hijab. So, for those of you who don't know what hijab is, um, one, that's a very complicated question because there's a lot to do with the word hijab. Um, most of the time when someone says hijab, um, people use it to reference the headscarf that Muslim women wear. Um, but that's not all that hijab is. Um, hijab in Arabic means a covering or a shield of some kind. It doesn't necessarily mean a headscarf. Um, so there's some um, scholarly debate in the Islamic religion about what constitutes hijab, what it is, what it is not, um, what the scriptures in the Quran that reference hijab, what those actually mean. Um, excuse me. And um, so there's there's some debate on that. That's a, um, a very um, hot topic in the Islamic religion. Um, but Usually, nowadays, when people say hijab, they're referencing the actual scarf itself that Muslim women wear. Um, but hijab is a sort of code of conduct, too. It's, it's, um, it's sort of like behavioral guidelines, actually, for both Muslim, we Muslim men and women. Um, so, when I say hijab, I, I am talking about the actual headscarf, because that's usually, you know, that's kind of the word that's kind of evolved to talk about that particular style of headdress. Um, so that's, that's what I wear, is I wear that particular style. Um, but I don't just wear hijab. Um, I also wear sometimes a style called tichel, which is a Jewish style that is mostly worn by Jewish Orthodox women, um, but Jewish Orthodox women don't, it's not, the style of tichel is not um, specific necessarily to Jewish Orthodox women. Um, there are, you know, a lot mm. of different religions and cultures that wear hijab styles and tichel styles, and um, there's another style called shela, which is kind of like a loose hijab sort of thing that's not like so tied up against the face but more like you can like see the like the hairline and, and stuff like that and then there's also like Catholic mantilla and you know all, all different kinds of, of religious hair coverings that are worn throughout the world but anyway um so I oftentimes wear hijab I don't always 100% of the time wear hijab um but more often than not, if I'm going to be covering my head, it's a hijab style. Um, so when I first started to wear hijab, I felt like I was being called to do it. I felt like God was asking me to wear some kind of a hair covering because, not necessarily hair covering, but a head covering, because 
there was something that I needed to learn from the experience of wearing one. Um, so I did a lot of research um, around it and, you know, what styles were okay and what styles weren't okay and, you know, all that stuff. And I asked, you know, people from different religions and cultures, like, what are your views on someone who is not from your religion and culture wearing this particular style? Um, you know, is it okay? Is it not okay? I did a lot of research before I finally settled on wearing hijab. Um, so part of me wearing hijab is religious for me. Um, I do still wear it because it is, you know, an important part of my religious beliefs. And not only that, but um, it, I feel it's rather comfortable for me to wear hijab. Um, yeah, I get a lot of discrimination. I get a lot of hate for wearing it. Um, but I still feel very comfortable putting it on and walking out the door. It's, I expect to get some kind of discrimination or prejudice or hate or anything like that. I expect to by now. Um, but it's, it's kind of one of those things where, because I expect it to happen, it doesn't necessarily bother me so much right now. I mean, yes, it bothers me. No, I wish that I didn't have to, that myself or anybody that wears hijab or anything for a religious reason didn't have to, you know, go through the discrimination or, you know, any of that for wearing and doing what they do. Um, I don't think that that's okay at all that people discriminate against other people for their decisions to wear hijab or, um, you know, wear tickle or, um, you know, not to um, enter or exit through a certain doorway. Um, there's some religions where if you, this is a fun fact, there's some religions out there that you should not enter into a space through a west-facing entrance. Um, that's neither here nor there. But, um, you know, I, we need to live in a world where people are more sort of open to these kinds of things. That was a soapbox. I'm stepping down off my soapbox. <laughs> um, anyway, um, but I also wear it, I don't just wear it for religion. Um, I also wear it for, um, I mentioned in my This Is Me video that I practice um, magic, and I a lot of times will um, enchant my scarves that I wear to help me sort of better filter out um, things that are coming into me. So like if somebody is expressing an opinion to me, it helps me to sort of filter out um, what is... BS and what is not. Um, you know, what is, uh, you know, something serious that I need to really consider in my own values and the way that I view the world, and, you know, what is racist, harmful, negative, whatever BS that I can just discard, you know, and um, so I do, I do use my hijab sort of in that way sometimes um, for those kinds of things, but um, for the most part, you know, it's, it's got, it's got a pretty, um, heavy religious context for me. Um, I have a lot of hijabi friends. Um, I have one other hijabi friend who is non-Muslim, but all of my other hijabi friends are Muslim. Um, so whenever I get invited by my Muslim friends to go to the masjid, which is the Arabic word for mosque. It's like, that's what, like, the Islamic community calls a mosque. So, like, non-Muslims call it mosques, but Muslims call it a masjid. Um, so whenever I get invited to go to the masjid, um, I always, no matter what, will always wear a hijab because it's respectful to their culture, it's respectful to their religion, it's respectful to their values, their ideas, their beliefs. Um, 
So I don't, if I know that I'm going to be going to the masjid, I will always wear a hijab. Um, I keep a scarf in my car, actually, so that if I get invited, like, um, you know, kind of on the, you know, spur of the moment, on the fly kind of thing, I have something in my car that I can put over my head to go into the masjid. Um, so it's, you know, but it's not even just that I feel for me whenever I put on my hijab or my tichel or a headband whatever it is that I end up wearing it's sort of like I feel like I'm putting on almost a crown of power and I'm not the only one that's described it that way when I was doing research on you know other people and why they chose to veil whatever style they chose to do a lot of people out there would say yeah it feels like i'm putting on a crown of like spiritual power and it was really empowering for them um and i fall into that too i feel the same way it's you know i feel good and confident in myself whenever i wear hijab um like it is sort of like it's it's a weird thing it's like when I don't wear hijab you know I'm not quite as confident in myself or you know I'm sort of you know quiet and I don't um, you know I don't assert myself I guess as much but when I'm wearing hijab it's like I feel like I can sort of puff up my chest and be like yes I am here deal with it <laughs> not quite in that so bold and brash of a, a way, but um, that that's how it feels. Is it, it's like a confidence booster for me. Um, so yeah, and I have, you know, dealt with a lot of um, discrimination and I continue to, um, you know, my boyfriend's family is not used to that and some of them make a point to make a comment to me all the time, every time they see me when I have my hijab on, um, but it, it doesn't deter me from wearing it at all. So anyway, yeah, I hope that kind of shed some light on why I chose to wear a hijab. Um, if you guys have any questions or want me to clarify on anything, um, you know, leave me a comment and I'll see you guys in the next video.